One man is dead and another is in custody after an afternoon shooting in Tuscaloosa. WVUA's Chelsea Barton was first on the scene and joins us now live with the very latest Chelsea. Tamika, the shooting happened in the Hunter's Run subdivision off of Old Greensboro Road. I spoke with the victim's father off camera. He confirmed with me that his 26 year old son is the victim. He also says he and his family are in shock and need all of the support they can get during this difficult time. I uh, came outside and saw the police cars and, uh, and the ambulances and you know knew something was bad when I saw the, saw the police tape around the house. And, Authorities confirm an altercation happened before shots were fired. The victim was shot at least one time. Whit Wright lives across the street. He says this is a first in his neighborhood. And no disturbance that ever came from this house. I mean, it's, it's always been, you know, peaceful. I mean, it's, it's just, it's one of those things where an argument, I guess, got out of control and, and I hate that, I hate the way it turned out. Ted Bowler says his heart aches for his neighbors who are also his friends. They're an awesome family. Um, the kids are great, just stand up kids, and I think the world of them, and uh, I think of them kind of like my own kids, you know. Wright and Bowler agree that Hunter's Run residents need to rally around their neighbors who have experienced such a tragic loss. If, if anything we can do right now is pray, and, and that's everybody needs to do that right now. We can help them out and just try to lift them up and pray for them and I hope they can help them through this hard time. I just still can't believe that this has happened to such a nice family as we're all in shock right now. I mean, it's always been this actually this cultural sex always been, you know, kind of tight. We've all gone on vacations and, you know, we ask people to look after the house and now we just got to look after, you know, this family. It's had a major loss. Authorities confirm a 30-year-old male suspect is in custody. He and the victim both live in the home but are not related. They are anticipating charges to be made before the night is over. For WVUA News, I'm Chelsea Barton.